Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about Laravel CRUD, Create, Read and Update, Delete. Uh, so let's start, let's start by creating a new migration for our CRUD. To do that I will open the terminal and in the terminal I will write php artisan make model. I want to create a model with controller and migration. So PHP artisan make model and model name which I will give products with migration and controller. Hit enter. So it's, it's been created. Now let's go to migration and add column names. So on database migration, our uh, table, our new newly created migration. In here I will type the column name. The first one I will take the type as an string and give it an the name. Then a, uh, a string integer and price. Again, one more table integer. And this will be quantity. So now let's create one more uh, migration model and migration for our photos. To do that, I will just type the same thing and change the name of products to photos. Hit enter. This one is also created. Now let's add the column names. In here, I will type the table a string uh, and I will name it pat. And another, in here, I am going to write for an ID column for my, which uh, will be product underscore ID and constraint and my table name this table name I will copy it here and it's done now let's run migration for that I will type here php artisan migrate enter migration is successful now uh, let's create our view for that I will go to resources views and my view which I have named it uh, CRUD so in here I have already made a template in here I will just create a card with card body inside this I will create a form and uh, now I will create a row div of class of road now in here I will make it cool made three so it should take three cool lumps and now in here I will type my first uh, input uh, I will name label sorry label for uh, name in here I will say name now the input type input type text and id also should be text class form control okay i will copy this two more time now th uh, this will be number and also this one also will be number uh, this is uh, our price so I will type here also price okay, we forgot to add name here name here also I will type the name of price price this will will be our quantity and I will give this one also a name of quantity and 
this one also cool. so oh one more co uh, input type image for photo image and I this will be input type file and I will just accept uh, only images so I will type image and here a star so it only accept images and nothing else and I will name it this one also as an let's say image ID also image and save this one also the label now let's uh, go out, go to browser and refresh our page refresh okay our form is ready let's add uh, the button here our submit button go mid three and and put type submit now i will uh, give it a name uh, sorry a value also for example submit and a class of button buttons success okay let's add our csrf token in the top also csrf and write that form method which will be post uh, now let's type the action also in here let's create the route so in the route here I will create a new route which will be the type of post and I will give it a URL of save products and this I will go to add this method to products controller with the name of save so let's go inside product controller controller product controller here I will type this method public function Protect it will get two parameters uh, which is request and it, so, uh, we have to also pass the uh, request here. Now, inside this, I will type make a variable for items and say new product my model name and item name will be equal to the what we get from the request and and same for i will do price and request dash price similarly i will do for uh, quantity also those items dash quantity is equal to request what quantity uh, this uh, names that come after the request all of them are the input type name this one so don't forget to uh, write this one in here so at the in the end i will say items save now this will this will save our products we also want to save our image also for that I in here I will type dollar sign image name uh, in here I I will store the image name which will come from the request dash and our uh, column name which is our input name which is image image and in after that gate client original name so this is how we get the file that is uploaded its name now I will move it to the my public folder for that I will type request uh, and 
this uh, field that we get image move public path and I will type here the folder name in which I want to store it for example image and in the end I will add this file name so up to now it will uh, get uh, our file name and store it in the public folder which is inside this and with the image name now we also want to save this in our database to do that I will type here uh, for example photos this I will give it a photos variable and I will say new photos and in here I will say it's uh, photos this one also I photos pad which is our column name it will be images uh, folder this folder slash dot our image name and I want to also store the product ID so for that I will type product ID is equal to items dash ID so uh, when we save this uh, product we store it in a variable so this variable after saving it will bring an object for us which have the this product ID so I will take it from here and store it here so now let's say there are some photos and save so our uh, controller save method is done now let's go back to our web and copy this URL that we created and post it in the action of our uh, form and since we are sending a file with this so in here I will type in ink type which is multi part form data let me remove this and again multi part form data like this so our uh, view is ready our form is ready our web is ready and product is also ready so now let's move to controller and add a data to our database but uh, before that let's uh, type here return back and now let's go to our browser refresh our page uh, let's fill this for example product 1 price 20 quantity 3 let's choose a file also now for this one now let's press submit okay we got error it says method this gate original uh, is does not exist did you mean this one let's copy maybe we must type some this one paste it here yeah save and let's go back uh, let's submit again so it's done we have uh, it returned back now let's go to our database and check our data is it there okay refresh our database products yeah our product is saved and what about our photos yeah photo is also saved now let's check our public folder that our image is uh, copied there or not uh, let's go to public images yeah we see uh, our image is also saved so uh, in here it's working fine but we have a little problem that for example I, I can type anything here I can uh, I can add as much number as possible in here and also I can 
appear negative and uh, make and uh, keep the image empty also the actually there is no validation in our controller so if i press submit and you guys can see i get error that, that uh, it cannot be it's out of reach uh, or uh, any other error so let's see how we can add validation to our uh, request for uh, creating a validation i will come to terminal in my base code and type php artisan make request and i will give it a name for example uh, products request hit enter our request is done it will be inside app http and request folder so it's created now i will change this to true in here i will type my input type names uh, which was name and in I will open an array and say required similarly I had price and I will make this also required and I will say that it should be numeric and it should be between uh, if I want to give it a range uh, like from 0 to 100 and another one is a quantity for that i will also say required numeric and between 0 to 100 our last field was image was it image let's yeah so back in form request in here i will say this field is also required now let's go back to our products controller and in here in the top where we wrote requests dollar sign request in the state of first request i will just type my product uh, request like this and also if uh, your id does not import automatically don't forget to add this line in the top okay guys this is it for uh, this video and thanks for watching don't forget to press the subscribe button see you guys in the next video